It's been a record-breaking day of hot weather right across the state. Dozens of towns and communities have had have sweltered through their hottest September day. Our reporter David Lewis joins us now from South Bank. David, just how hot did it get today? Well, Karina, it was an absolute scorcher. You can see people still cooling off in the pool at Brisbane's South Bank precinct behind me. In Julia Creek in the state's northwest, the mercury rose to 41.3 degrees, that town's hottest ever September day. And on the southern inland, towns like Miles and Roma witnessed record-breaking temperatures for a second day in a row. Don't be fooled by the fog. Queensland's heatwave isn't over yet. Even 700 metres above sea level, it was still blooming hot at Toowoomba's Carnival of Flowers. So it actually cooks them, you know, it, just, it burns them. So it's, um, they won't recover, unfortunately. But some of the tougher ones are still hanging on pretty well. Drought-stricken Charleville this week endured its hottest September day since records began in 1874. The mercury today stopped short of making history again much to the relief of local graziers. Well, drought conditions are, ve are very bad now. It's getting really, really dry. The, all the feed just about gone and we have a, a lot of problems. Places like Longreach, Roma, Miles have been breaking records over the last couple of days. But really the large part of the interior of the state is well above average, looking at around about 10 to even 15 degrees above average in a lot of places. And spare a thought for Queensland firefighters battling an industrial fire south of Brisbane. Obviously a hot day over 30 degrees going into an a even hotter fire scene uh, does cause health issues. If the beach was in reach, a dip in the ocean proved too tempting to resist. People are sort of celebrating, the beaches have come back really well and, and the water's nice, there's a small swell so the beaches are all packed which is great to see. Here in Brisbane, many people's plans to spend the day outdoors have been put on ice. Guys, what are you doing inside here? It's so cold. Um, well, we're skating. Yeah, because it's a hot day outside. From ice to ice cream, there are plenty of ways to stay cool. What did you order today? Triple chop brownie. It looks good, but it's melting already. Yeah. Summer's arrived early, and so have the beach safety warnings. Surf Life Saving Australia has launched a new smartphone application available in 72 different languages. Un système de barre double, largeur de sang. You understood? No. Per perfect. Perfect. <laughs> every I, I understood. Day. Yeah. There's no need to worry about the waves here. In Ipswich, locals make their own fun. In all, there were more than 30 records broken across the state. So, David, just how long is this hot weather expected to last for? Well, Karina, the Weather Bureau is not predicting any records will be broken tomorrow. Temperatures should fall across most parts of the state by about 5 degrees. They will remain above average, so it will continue to be unseasonably warm, but hopefully not too uncomfortable. OK, David Lewis in South Bank, thank you. Maybe go and cool off now.